Hello everyone, I'm Golden Boy Colleen, and today we're gonna open and make the Miniverse Lifestyle Wave 2. Just like with many brands, it seems like now they're making Wave 1 and Wave 2, which means that Wave 1 will only have part of the miniatures available, while Wave 2 will be the complete collection. So this here on the left is Wave 1, and then this one over here is Wave 2. Obviously, if you can find it, get Wave 2. It's not worth getting Wave 1 anymore. Either way, let's see what we're gonna build first. For some reason this doesn't want to snap in. Oh well, there we go. Just needed to apply a little bit more force. Put it over here for now. Throw these away. And then this is where we're gonna build our stuff. Okay that's not a good sign. I hope that's not resin. But it looks like it is. We got beeswax, lavender. So I think we're gonna be making candles. Yep we're definitely making candles. I gotta say, these look very realistic. They even kind of open as if they had rubber here on the side. Pretty cool. Yeah, that was definitely resin. I can see a little bit over here as well. That's not cool, but what are you gonna do? All right, here's our two wicks and then some lavender scent, which kind of looks like sprinkles. Well, this is cool and fancy, a golden tray. It is so perfectly golden and reflective that you can see my face in it. Isn't that crazy? So let's get our stuff ready. Let's get our sticky resin container open. Okay, it is full, we didn't lose too much. So first I'm just gonna add a little bit because I want to make sure that the wicks stay there in place and they're centered. Okay, we're gonna add the second layer and we're gonna leave a little bit of room at the top. That is so satisfying the way the jar fills up. Or is it just me? And that's enough for now. All right, it's time to cure this layer. Now, the only thing we need is a tiny layer for the sprinkles or, you know, lavender scent. I just got a little bit here on the side by mistake. There we go. All right, it's time for the lavender pellets. I'm gonna use a toothpick to move them around a little bit so that we get the effect that we want. Okay, I think that looks good. I just realized that we have to be careful and remove any pellets from the sides and actually push them down because the edge of these covers kind of go in so if they don't have enough space they're not going to close completely. Now the last thing we need to do is trim the wicks and they say you should use scissors but it's going to be a lot harder to do that so we're going to work smart and use a pair of clippers. Nail clippers that is. And that's it. These are the lavender scented candles and they look pretty cool. So these things go on like so, but again, if you close them like this, you're not going to be able to see the wicks. Although I guess they look like candles closed down too. Maybe half open. No, never mind. Let me clean the set real quick and we're going to move on to the next one. So the resin in this pod is salt water, which means we probably have some sort of sea creature. So we got a fish and the way they package it is so funny because it looks like it's in a bag, even though these are actually um, two plastic halves. These are pink slash purple pebbles. Nice, I didn't know we we're gonna get this too. We got a little decorative plant. And then of course, here's our tank. So I think we got a little bit of work ahead of ourselves for this one. I'm gonna put the pebbles in this other half so it's easier to work with. Let's get our plant out. This plant looks really realistic. I mean, look at the details on the leaf. Isn't that crazy? Let's get the poor fish out of the bag. Whoops. See, I was already trying to figure out how we're gonna suspend the fish in the aquarium, but it seems like they included a little plastic clear stand, which is great because once we pour the resin and cure it in place, that should become invisible. Also, the fish is very detailed, which I really like. Okay, and then let's get the resin ready. All right, so I'm thinking the plants should be on the right side and then the fish on the left side, kind of like this. Okay, that was pretty dumb because yes, we put it like this, but then if we turn it around, it's gonna be the opposite, so it doesn't matter. So first things first, the pebbles, and I'm gonna actually leave the plant in there because I want part of the bottom to be covered by the pebbles. Okay, something like this. Now, I just wanna make sure this looks good, the pebbles over here and everywhere else. I'm just gonna use that cover from the tweezers to actually push everything down. I think this is a good amount of pebbles, right? 
All right, I think so far it's looking great. Now the only problem is I kind of got the thing dirty on the inside, which is not great. All right, I think I got most of it out. I would hope so. Let's do it a little bit on this other side. I just don't want to mess up with the plant now. Yeah, I should have been more careful when pressing that in. Which in a way it's good that I made a mistake because now you guys can learn from it. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be a mistake or not, but I'm thinking let's add a little bit of resin. Uh, just a little layer here on the top to set everything in and then maybe add the fish. Wait, no, um, a layer of resin, add the fish and then set it all in place, followed by you know, filling up the tank and yeah, that's it. You know what? Let me see. I hope the fish is not too high. No, that should be good. Okay, I think that's good. Let's position our fish. That's perfect over there. So far, so good. It's looking very pretty, actually. Now let's add the rest of the resin. Okay, well that took a while, but I finally did it. That's not too shabby. Now let's set it all in place before something bad happens. Okay, so for some odd reason, this looks worse than before we cured it in place. I'm trying to figure out, do you guys see those bubbles over there? Maybe you can see them better from the top. I don't know why they're forming like that. It seems like they're coming from, you know, in between the pebbles. And my only guess is that I didn't set up the, the first layer of resin properly. Well, actually, I don't think I had it all the way till here in the back, which is where I think the bubbles came out of because there's nothing around the fish, which is good. So yeah, here's an Another one of those moments where you can learn from my mistakes. Once you put the pebbles, put a thin layer of resin and make sure it touches everything, right? Everything, including a little bit of the sides of the, the tank and then set it all in place like that. Then, and only then, I think, you won't get these bubbles coming up. I mean, I guess it's a nice effect maybe, but when you're not trying to go for that, it's annoying. Also, another thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is normal, it kind of became a little bit foggy. You guys see that? It looks better from the top. See how crystal clear it is? And then here on the sides, it looks kind of foggy. I didn't get the tank dirty or anything. See, I wiped it down. It still kind of looks like that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comments about these two issues. Why is it foggy? And then if I'm right about that solution for the, um, what do you call it? For avoiding the bubbles. But otherwise, excluding those two issues, I think it looks pretty good. Now let's clean the set real quick and move on to the next one. It seems like the first zipper never works, so we're gonna have to use this little tool. Okay, more fish. Well, maybe this time I can redeem myself and avoid the bubbles. We got some pebbles, different color this time. This is the same type of plant. Whole new type of tank. I was gonna call it a bowl, but it's not a bowl. It's like a cylinder, I guess. Here's our fish. It's kind of translucent. It's one of those fish that are very lonely. I think you can only have one in a bowl or something. Otherwise they just fight and I think kill each other. Anyway, they look very pretty though. So let's get everything ready. Okay, so the plant will go in here, obviously. And then once again, we're gonna just layer some pebbles in there, make sure the plant sits in the same spot. Yeah, I think if we put chunks of pebbles, it's gonna be easier to, you know, maneuver them around. And I need to be careful not to get the side of the bowl dirty. Wait a minute, this plant is kind of like, I need to spread it open a little bit. There we go, that's better. Now we need to add some uh, resin and make sure that we cover every single little part, especially the plant, because I think this is where things kind of like start coming out. I think we're in a much better place than last time, even though I wish that the plant was a little bit more open. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I think that might have worked. As I can tell, there's no pockets through which air can escape and come out now. Let's add a little bit more resin and place our fish. So 
so far it's good. Now let's add the rest of the resin. Now there's one big bubble over here that we need to pop. There we go. And everything else looks okay. There's really tiny ones, but I think that looks good. Kind of adds, you know, that water effect, I guess. No, I'm not trying to make an excuse. It's just that I think it looks good with little bubbles. Okay, so it looks better than the other one in terms of bubbles. There's not many bubbles, as you can see, just the little ones. However, I don't know why it's still like that, like very muggy and kind of like blurry. I don't know how else to call it. And also, I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera, but the fish also has like miniature bubbles on it, like especially on its tail. Again, from the top, it looks nice and clear. And then from here, it looks blurry. Interesting. Let me see. Wait a minute. This one isn't blurry anymore. So is it some type of reaction that happens with the resin and until it cools down and completely cures, it's blurry like that? Because look, this one is perfectly clear. It's crystal clear actually, and it looks really good, except for the bubbles, of course. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to wait a little bit and this one should look just as clear. Interesting. Well, I have no clue that's how it works. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have a look at this later because if it's gonna look anything like this, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Now I'm going to put this fish over here and then this one over here. And I'm going to clean the set and I think we're going to do one more. We got some more salt water. Um, if we're getting a fish, I think we're going to stop here because I was actually debating whether I should stop or actually make another one. So. That will be a sign that I need to stop. Okay, we got the same type of bowl. Maybe there's a different fish that goes in here. I don't know. It is a different fish. This is uh, Nemo from Finding Nemo. <laughs> well, technically it's not Nemo. This would be his father. Here's our pebbles. We got something different this time. It's a coral, a golden coral. Let's get our stuff ready and think how we can make this looking a little bit different and better. Here's the dad from Finding Nemo. I forgot what his name was. This is a absolutely beautiful golden coral. And of course our pebbles, which are colored a little bit differently. All right, I am back and it is the following morning. I had to stop filming last night and I know this is not my morning voice, by the way. I think I'm getting sick, so apologies in advance for it being, you know, a different voice in the same video. But I thought that instead of stopping it there, I should probably just continue, finish this and then yeah, that's it. I do have a pretty crazy idea for how we can do this one. It might not turn out okay. And again, I'm not feeling 100%, so that might have something to do with it not turning perfect, but I really wanna try this idea. And if it doesn't work, at least we're gonna learn something from it. So first, I'll need this candle tray, and I want the tank to kind of be set in place like this. There's an extra drop there, but it's fine. Okay, now the next step is to get our pebbles in. Okay, I like the way it looks like that. Now we need to add some resin and make sure that, you know, it's properly sealed. Don't want any bubbles coming out. Okay, let's seal it in place. So far it's looking good. I'm wondering about the placement of this. I don't know, I didn't envision it exactly like this. I thought the bowl was a little bit deeper. Alright, I just need enough to, you know, keep it in place. Now we're gonna add another layer of resin. 
All right, we're gonna pop those two little bubbles that formed over there and cure our resin. Okay, so far I think it's looking decent. Now we need to take this fish off its pedestal. Maybe my nail clippers technique will be good for this. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Since I call this Nemo's dad, I was trying to make a tank and have the fish kind of like escape the tank. So I want to see how that will work now um, because I need a little bit of elevated water so that it looks like he's you know, kind of like jumping out. So I think our best option is to pour a little resin here and have it kind of like drop and try to catch it like that in time. And if it doesn't work, we can we can go from there and figure something out. So something like that, but a little bigger. Maybe we can build on it. Okay, so after several layers, we have something that looks like this, which I'm pleased with, considering that it's all very, you know, random. You could put some resin and you try to hit it with the UV light at exactly the correct time. I think it looks good. And now it's time to place the fishy. I'm gonna dip his tail in a little bit of resin. So now I think it's probably a good idea to put a little bit of resin on the fish itself so that it looks wet. Right now it's looking kind of matte. All right, I think that looks good. Let's set it in place. And here's the final result. I think it looks pretty good. There is obviously room for improvement. Like, as you can see, the little coral thing is actually um, levitating. It's not on the rocks. I mean, pebbles. And just the way the water is nice and straight here and then here it kind of goes like this. That's not looking that great. But all in all, I think it's good. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Now, it's time for me to finish the video here and go get some rest. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for all my subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the future videos. And as usual, you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.